Hi there. Today I'd like to take a look at this, the 20 bead Wreck and Wreck set. Um, it also comes with this really nice book, ETA Hand to Mind, and this gives you ideas on how to do lessons. Um, it'll show you stuff, it'll give you examples of things to do. You got like objective, materials, engage, explore, say this, ask this, ask this, explore and explain, explain and elaborate, evaluate, say this, you know, like that. So um, it, it's the teacher's corner. It basically, it's a teacher's resource book from um, grades K to two. And this is the Wreck and Wreck that it comes with. And uh, so you can have it like this. Now, the Wreck and Wreck, I am totally new to this. I saw this and then I started looking up on YouTube and what I noticed immediately is that um, people can't really agree on which side it is supposed to do. There's a resting and then there's an active side. So some people say you should always start on this side and you always move the reds first and you never count individually. You want to move it as a set because you want them to start thinking in sets of fives and tens. Um, and then there are other people that say, no, it should start on this side, this is resting. And yeah, it doesn't matter if you count individually or whatnot and all that. So, you know, go ahead and look up on YouTube and decide how how you want to use it. Honestly, I'm not too big on, you know, rules and everything, but I do like to know what they are. And so that, you know, yes, you can break a rule, you can bend rules, but it is also nice to know what um, is supposed to happen as well. The Wreck and Wreck set is actually really nicely made and it seems to be a good, easy, stable unit. Um, it's 10 inches across this way and about two and five eighths of an inch tall. Maybe this stand over here, two and three quarters of an inch tall up to there. So um, there you go. They also show on the back here, there's ones with um, little ladybugs. So a little buggy beads counting frame. That's very cute. The sorting tray and then 100 bead wreck and rack uh, foam 10 fr frames so lots of different ways to conceptualize and make numbers real so they can actually see the numbers and stuff like that um, you know there's a lot of different concepts that you can learn and one of the things is like to break up a five so five can be this um, or Five can be a, two, a three and a two, that's a five as well. Or if you do a four and a one, that's also a five. Um, you know, breaking down numbers, expanding on numbers, you know, so that they can really start understanding um, how numbers work and see it and feel it and touch it and stuff like that. There's games of memorization and quick thinking where they cover up They'll use, they'll use something to cover up. The teacher will set something up and then flash it real quick and go, okay, you know, how many beads were there? And they, you know, say three and stuff. And then that way they can start, if you have something like, um, like this, you know, it also gives you an idea of how your, how your child thinks as well and teaching them different ways to think. So if you flash this real quick and then go down, then you can say, okay, how many beads were on the right side? And then they can say 15. Okay, well, how did you come up with 15? And if you watch, um, you know, different kids, they might say different things. They might say things like, well, I knew that all of the red beads were o over on the right side and, e and the red beads are fives. And then everybody was over on this side and this is a 10. And I know that this is 10. So therefore, 
10 plus 5 is 15. Um, or they might say, well, I know that we have 20 beads and there were 5 over here, so 20 minus 5 equals 15. So there's many different ways that you can, you can come to this conclusion that there are 15. And it's actually really interesting, you know, speaking to different children and stuff like that, you can, you can see how different kids actually come to the same answer, which is, which is awesome and interesting. And it's a, it's great in a group too, so that, you know, you can see the kids themselves can also see that there's many different ways to come to the same conclusion and that it can still be correct. There isn't just one way to do, you know, things. And, and that, I think that that's a really important lesson to learn because with math, um, there, there are many different ways to come across it. And sometimes when a child is stuck on one way, um, like if, like if you're counting upwards, right? And say, well, 10 plus 5 equals 15, you're stuck, the kid can't learn that because, I don't know, for whatever reason, their brain just doesn't work that way. And then if you describe it as, well, you know that all there's only 20 here, there's 5 over here, so 20 minus 5 equals 15, maybe they can get that easier. Um, and it has nothing to do with whether or not they're smart or not, it just has to do with how their brain works. So, um, Anyways, it's it's a great little tool, you know, I, I'm really big on learning all different ways of learning and, and learning how to learn and stuff like that, and this is definitely one of those tools that can definitely um, aid in that. So there you go, if there are any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below, otherwise, thanks for watching.